Okay, I'm going to demo this hot house, and I've coded up some effects for it, and I'm calling it the flick because my intention was to replace uh, replace the hot house, or no, replace the the Strymon flint. I know that's not going to really happen, but what I've done is I've built into this pedal. On the right hand side, I've got. Um, delay and tremolo and also and then on the left pedal I've got uh, a reverb that's called the splooge reverb that I just ported um, so here's the dry signal sound and something that's unique um, is this this stomp or this uh, foot switch is controlling two different effects. So if I press it once, it's going to be the delay. And I can control the delay, um, the bottom row of these um, knobs is, let's see, this is going to be on the left is how long the delay is, in the middle is how many how much feedback how many repeats happen and on the right is uh, basically how what the level of the reverb or not reverb the delay so let me see if I can give a demo of that It gets kind of sounding uh, computery. Um, anyway, that is the delay. So that's with a single press. Now if I double press, um, you know, like a double click you'd do with a mouse, it turns on the tremolo. And I think the tremolo sounds really great. Um, the top middle button is um, the speed of the tremolo. On the right is the depth. So let me see if I can demo that. Right now you might be asking what happens if you want to use both of those effects at the same time. Well, notice how the light, I don't know if this is going to come through on the video, but notice how the light on here is about, I've got it coded 50% if it's just the tremolo, um, so it's not super bright, but if I tap once, now that light should be a lot brighter, and it's flashing too, which is the speed of the tremolo, but that's also indicating that the delay effect is on. I don't know if, let's see if I can bump this up a little. Anyway, so that's kind of interesting to have both at the same time. I don't know if I would ever do that. If I double click, um, then the tremolo is off and it's just the delay. 
double double press again and now they're both on now if I press once the delay turns off and it's back to the dimmer you know not as bright tremolo indicator press this okay on the left is this uh, splooge reverb and just press it once and it'll turn on And uh, the only knob that I have is just how much dry wet is going on. If I turn this, if I turn that way up. Now all the switches are what's controlling everything else. So this first switch is um, how much feedback is going on. So I can't remember the exact values, but I'll post them. So that was the most. This is a little less. Maybe think of it as, as, as the trails compared to this. or all the way down. And just as a reference, um, the amp that you're hearing is my uh, it's one that I built from scratch. It's it's basically the deluxe reverb circuit, but um, tube amp. So if I turn that off, and uh, here's real spring reverb. This is a reverb tank. Compared with this. Now there's something going on in the hothouse that's making like a high-pitched noise when I turn this on. And I saw somebody in the forum uh, in somewhere mentioning the same type of thing that it's, and they, they hooked it up to a frequency analyzer and saw that there was a spike at 1000 Hertz or, you know, 1K and 2K. And uh, I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, they posted a workaround. I think it has to do with the sample rate uh, but I've noticed that on multiple different reverbs that I've tried. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Okay, this middle one, this middle switch, is controlling uh, essentially the tone of the reverb. So up high, or uh, up at the top, in the up position, it's letting the most frequency through. Uh, in the very bottom. This is the darkest. It's kind of subtle, but you definitely hear it if I turn it to the dark. Kind of sounds more muffled in the reverb. I think I like that middle position the most. Okay, and on the uh, far right is the splooge, and it's basically um, a little bit of chorus pitch, pitch shifting. It affects um, the delay in the reverb um, and some other things. A couple other things. So in the down position, how I have it now, that splooge factor is off. And this is really subtle. I think it's like 
So just a tiny bit of modulation. And then in the up position, it's going to be, uh, I think, 90% splooge, which is adding in some uh, pitch, some shimmery type of things. I turn the that way up. So this is probably something I would never use, but I uh, wanted to try it out. And I think a little bit of it um, kind of adds more depth to the reverb. So I like that middle position. So will this replace the Strymon Flint on this board permanently? Uh, that's up for debate. Uh, right now in its current con condition, it definitely wouldn't. But this is better than the uh, sample reverb stuff that I initially tried. So let's throw on uh, the delay. Just a little subtle. Uh, let's get a uh, get the ring of tone going. This is a clone of the king of tone that I just finished up. Compressor. This is the shock absorber. It's a clone of the Keeley Compressor Plus. That's the flick for the hothouse. Let me know if you've got any questions or if you want to help code and make it better. I'll uh, post a link in the description where you can find the code. I still need to get it up in GitHub, trying to find the, the best place for that. But let me know what you think. Would you use this on your board? What would you tweak? And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts.